Okay, so this is basically where I am for 2016. First thing I want to say is the wholesale stuff is currently off this list. Um, the stuff that I was expecting hasn't materialized and quite simply there's too many people involved to let me bother with it. Um, if it was my own money, yes I would do it, but there's too many people with their fingers in the pie, so quite simply it's just not worth my time. So this is what we have so far. So what we've got is me here. And because I've had delays and other issues, I'm looking at two months consultancy back in the UK um, as an emergency backup, uh, purely because we have enough money in the bank for the next four or five months. But two months consultancy is basically I earn a minimum of a thousand pounds a week in the UK. So if you multiply that by the fact that the exchange rate's about 1.2 to 1.4 to the euro, I basically get a month per week. Um, so, so every week I work in the UK is another month in, in Spain. So with that, it's basically the equivalent of eight months income in two months in the UK. Adding to that, I still have revenue coming in paying the bills. So that's another eight on top of what I'm currently um, having processed through my money. Uh, but also bearing in mind that when I'm away, the price, the cost of living drops in, the, uh, in Spain because I'm one of the biggest consumers while I'm here. Because <laughs> obviously if I'm driving the car, it's using fuel, if I'm having a couple of beers with friends, it's, it's my expenses, etc. So when I'm in the UK, company expenses pays for fuel, company expenses pays for a car, company expenses pays for my beer and also my food. So all that just disappears. So this actually increases quite a lot when this happens. So that is going to create this project development time. As you can see here, there's a long list of ideas I'm currently working on. They're in different stages. We'll cover those in a minute. The English course, I pretty much finished. Um, I've still got a couple of assessments to do, and I've got writer's block purely because I find it's a lot of guff. Um, if you don't know what guff is, it's basically waffle where people just generate stuff out of nothing just for the creativity of it. I hate that stuff, but that's education for you. Uh, but the website's up, but this needs to be populated with information so the you'll get the web pages going up the YouTube pages going up and I've got one-to-one -one lessons already but I'm going to increase that significantly once I get over this because obviously if I'm working nine ten ten hours a day it makes it very different difficult to do lessons but it does not make it impossible to do YouTube it does not make it impossible to develop the website so that's where the English stuff is going. There's a huge pie chart, uh, not pie chart, flow chart of all the stuff related to this English um, English course and the English website for teaching. Um, but I'm not putting that on YouTube simply because the when you see what's linked with it, you'll go, that's a very good idea. So quite simply, it's going to remain on my whiteboard here. Uh, doesn't mean that I'm not, not looking to help other teachers get online. It doesn't mean I'm not helping people get trained. It doesn't mean I'm not encouraging you to sign up on the website and become a teacher there. What it means is there's a lot of stuff behind this website that you don't really need to know. Um, but when you start seeing it all interlinked, it starts to make a big, big bit of sense. Um, and we'll discuss some bits like for example the call center I've got space uh, with 15 desks already set up and I've got 45 computers already there I could actually teach using Filipinos English um, I'm not going into how I'm going to do that because obviously it's something that can be duplicated so that is something that is part and parcel of what else is going on um, but you'll see it develop over the next few months the FM software ties in with the consultancy because the guy that's actually going to be buying it is in London. Uh, what purification system? I'm dealing with somebody here in Spain. Um, he's trying to get his head around the idea. So that is actually an ongoing project. Recycling center, same guy, um, because we're looking at EU subsidies for some of this stuff.
Import export stuff still ongoing and that will just develop as it does as and when it does. As soon as we have clients in, we'll do what we can do. Um, supplements is a new one, but this ties in with a call center. It also ties in with a new venture. This supplement is not on the market yet. It's been made for and used by the military. Um, it's it's a product that um, is, you know when you see some of these ones that go, it will make you 10 foot tall or whatever. Well, this stuff actually does enhance you in many ways, but it's completely above board and legitimate. It's been put together by uh, somebody on the Olympics. Um, it's something that somebody approached me to market. I'm looking at multi-level marketing for this because it's probably the one product I would actually say I would actually push into multi-level marketing. A, because multi-level marketing normally pushes vitamins, etc. But this stuff is actually the real deal and far better than a lot of the products they are selling. But B, it's a product I actually think is worth investing in. Um, I can see this actually shooting off. I can't really talk about it too much at the minute. But if you're into multi-level marketing and want in at the start, I would say get in touch. If you also can think of any other markets we can push this into, for example, if you've got contacts within the US military, Philippines, wherever, get in touch because th this is actually being used um, by special forces and other people um, in other locations. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, English online training course ties in with this. I paid over 200 pounds for my course and I didn't really rate it that high. Um, what I will do is actually create a better course and I'll do it at a fraction of the cost um, because the test sold certificates are pretty worthless anyway. Uh, you just need to have one. But the thing I want to do is actually create something of merit. I'm not just looking at this being a website where people just become students. I want it to be something of value. I want people to come out with certificates at the end of the course and say, yeah, I did this. And eventually we get recognized for the quality that we do, as well as expand it out for corporates, etc. So this qualification that will come out of ours or certification will actually be worth something. Uh, because obviously it's going to be in line with what we're doing. So I'm not going to sell a duff course. Not that I do sell any duff courses. Um, because it's no benefit to me. I don't want you damaging my website because you're a crap teacher. I want you to be a good teacher. <laughs> so, so this is why the course will be worth its weight in gold. Well, yeah, it'll be certainly be worth what you paid for it. You'll get that back in probably a couple of weeks, if that. Um, the water purification, I think we discussed that. Yeah, those are tied in together. Spanish real estate videos, this all ties in with the same guy um, because they're all tied into um, the same system. But the lead generation, there's huge money in this and... I need somebody in the Spanish system that can help me with that. Um, it's not a market I understand because obviously I, I'm still studying Spanish. So understanding the market here is also completely brand new to me, which is why this still sits in this box. Stuff that's ongoing It's not, not a process I'm ready to push things forwards with. The next thing is the ball cage. The ball cage is already a product that exists. What we're actually looking for is how to market it. Um, ideally we're looking for somebody at Spalding or Nike or somebody else that can push this but also we want to offload about 6,000 units so if you're serious about something um, a product that you can push on Amazon etc get in touch because this product um, there's nothing nothing on the market like it at the minute just get in touch like I said I mean if you're interested in any of these things just get in touch because quite simply all these are in the theory stage at the moment, or, well, I say theory, they're all actual physical products, but the marketing and selling stuff is the bit we're looking at now. So all these products are actually available. Um, the call center, like I said, is tied in with the English course, tied in with the, uh, probably in the Spanish real estate as well, and also the marketing and the supplements, and dealing with the, um, what do you call it, customer queries, etc. And probably the English training course. Um, We'll wait and see. Now, for the Philippine side, let's put this in the middle so it looks a bit tidier. Philippine side, what I've got is 
I've mentioned on my last video relating to a unit that's got no furniture in it. That unit I'm going to just put available and once it's rented out for 3500 it's it's going to sit like that till the person moves out. When they move out, I'll furnish it. Unless they decide to stay there for the next five years, then I don't really care. Uh, they can stay there as long as they like them. Um, there's another apartment uh, that, that's got all my stuff in it. I'm going to empty that because there's, there's a reason coming up in a minute. Um, this apartment's actually fully kitted out, but it's got my gear in it, so it's been sat empty. Um, I need to increase my YouTube revenue, and it'll come apparent in a minute. Once all this is done with these two and the other units, that gives me four rentals. Now, if the four rentals are actually paying out what they should do, it should give me 24,000 pesos a month for refurbishment programs. Um, but also I've got some liar, well, not liabilities, costs related to my in-laws at the moment after the motorcycle accident. So it helps with some of the stuff. Um, so let's just call it, let's call it 12,000 because that'd be rather conservative. It's 12,000 spare a month. So the first thing I've got is to get the three bedroom apartment architect drawings done. Um, then look at these in whichever order is cheapest. Ideally, I want to put the electrics in and then get them up in the ceiling so it's all ready to drop down um, before the partitions go in because I don't want people drilling holes and stuff that's just been finished. Uh, the flooring, I might just, I'm, I'm looking at putting leveling compound down, getting the place completely level, then starting to look at these other ideas. Why are they not all linked up in a process? because it all depends on budget uh, for example it, the electric cables could cost me 2000 pesos this month so I could actually say right buy the cable and put it to one side next month get the electrician in um, I would say get the electrical box but I've already done that I've already fit that to the wall um, but you get the idea it's everything as as and when in process you know the, with the budget as it starts to move from this stage these will start dropping into positions where we go, okay, we've got the drawing, um, leveled the floor, uh, we're going to go with laminate flooring all the way through or solid wood flooring throughout the whole floor and look at the partition system that we're going to put in. So maybe we go from there uh, to there to there and then um, the partition walls and the, the bathrooms bathrooms aren't really a problem for plumbing because all the plumbing for downstairs is actually fed from upstairs so the pipe works already there they just need to be cut in and tapped off for the water systems um, we're going to put a western kitchen in um, so I'm expecting that to cost a western price I am um, I'm not gonna say how much I think expect it's gonna cost but let's just say more than an, more than a little cheap kitchen <laughs> more than my kitchen there um, because I know from uh, one of the hardware stores I was at recently, well, not recently, a couple of years ago, um, Wilcon, a kitchen unit, a single, a, a double doored kitchen unit costs about 13, 14,000. So it gives you an idea of how much it costs, about 14,000 pesos per unit. Um, so that kitchen will be quite a nice kitchen once it's finished, but this is my home. This is what we're striving for. Uh, but there's other stuff I want to add later, solar panels on the roof, solar water heaters, etc, etc. Um, so this is an ongoing project and at the moment you probably noticed I'm only talking as if that's just the money in the Philippines. I'm not talking about any of it coming from Spain. And unless one of these actually shoots off at 90 miles an hour and suddenly makes a lot of cash, I'll just leave this trickling uh, making money and re refurbing. This is what I say about reinvesting constantly uh, because I reinvest in the buildings um, so that's why you see developments every year. If you look at cbuxpat.com and go past all the YouTube videos you will see windows have gone in at different stages, the doors have gone in, it's all been upgrade, 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 refurb, blah 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 because when I eventually do uh, decide to go back to the Philippines full time we will have a nice apartment that we live in we'll also have uh, 
Was it just the four? Three, four, five rentals. Um, plus the call centre. Um, and my own office for sitting and working in. So, you well, total flats, four, six apartments, including that, this three bed. So we've got six apartments, plus my office space, plus the call centre, plus we're looking at buying another lot that is four million pesos. Um, but I'll talk about another video because this is already quite a long video, it's 15 and a half minutes. But I just wanted to discuss where I'm at. And I know you're probably going, well, why don't you link them all together? Because it all depends how things pan out. Because although I want the two-month consultancy, I might find that the guys with the supplements suddenly go, okay, let's go for that. And we go from needing to go there to quite simply the supplements go to the top. And that starts making the money. Um, what sort of money am I talking with some of this stuff? The supplements already sell by the pallet load um, to military forces. So it's, it's already selling. It's, it's just that that's not my loop. Um, so once I take this to market, it could go into the thousands quite quickly, which means I could be earning five, ten thousand $10,000 a week, um, depending on how it sells. There's also something that's not marketed anywhere because it's been predominantly for the military. So once this starts becoming a real-world um, supplement into the weight training industry, etc., this will suddenly start selling in quite large quantities, which is why it could be very, very viable. This is why I'm thinking of the multi-level marketing, not for people that are selling it at work, etc., although I think it works that well anyway. Uh, but say you go into the gym, and you get your gym to take it on board, then you're already making money off it because every time somebody buys something in the gym, you get money off it. So everybody's on a win with this. This is the whole idea with me. I'm not after making a huge amount of money for myself. I'm after everybody making something. I'd rather have 10% of 100 businesses than 100% of one. I want to free up my time. At the same time, I want everybody else to be able to just do bits here and there and make money for themselves. So everybody benefits, and as long as everybody pulls their weight, there's no reason that uh, everybody can't make some money on these ideas. It's as simple as that. These these recycling centers, easy sell if you can get the right people to buy them. These are why they sit here, because I know in the Middle East, Legionella is a problem with drinking water. So this with the right person in the Middle East, would sell it easily. Um, it would sell for things like Oxfam. It would sell for um, people that are involved in um, reverse osmosis, uh, sterilized water, because it's not just for drinking, it's purification. So it could be for medical, it could be um, for development of specific things relating to technology. There's different reasons that you have different types of water and this system does them all. Um, so have a think. You know, if you think you've got something, bring it to me. Uh, because, like I said, I'm not going to cut anybody out. And I'm quite looking forward to getting some of these ideas on the move. Thanks for watching.